Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's pick a card reading is very simple. We're just going to take a look at what do you give your power to. Okay, so if you were having an energy leak or a power leak of some kind, what would it be to in this world? You know, it could be to your emotions, it could be to the state of your finances, it could be to something in the outside world. So we're going to explore that in this tarot reading. It's a very simple and quick tarot reading today. So you can choose between group one, group two or group three. And I will also point out I've got Hina on my hand. So as I go through the reading, isn't that wonderful? You'll see uh, this beautiful design. So in case anyone's wondering, it was Diwali uh, on the weekend and I went to a party and I had such a good time. And I got this done by a professional Hina artist. I felt like the luckiest person in the world because it's my first one. I've never had Hina before. Okay. So if you'd like, choose from group one, two and three, and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, let's take a look at what your cards are this time. So we've got the Ace of Cups upright. It's a really great card to receive first up. One of the best. You've got the Devil in reverse, which believe it or not, is another good card. <laughs> I'll talk you through my interpretation once we get through all of these. We've got the Lovers upright. Very beautiful card there. It's also representing Gemini in the Zodiac. So you've got two major arcana there. So this is quite big energy for you guys. We've got two of diamonds or pentacles and we've got Algarve which I believe is the 27th mansion uh, in this system okay lunar mansion let's take a look at all of these together this is actually a really really beautiful spread Okay, so one of the things that I will say, I'm going to position these a bit. There we go. That's better. One of the things I will say about this spread is that if you've been going through any emotional problems, all right, so you've, got, you've drawn these two cards. You've drawn the Ace of Cups upright and the Lovers upright. This is telling me that if you have been having a tough time in relationships or things haven't been going right, Maybe you've been upset, maybe things have been difficult, maybe things have been challenging in your relationship scene, um, you know, with your partner, maybe things have been hard, but I can tell you for sure, you've got a new wave of love coming through. So there's some healing energy for your relationship. If you've been having problems, there's beautiful new energy that's going to come in to your relationship scene. So don't resist it, don't block it, allow it, welcome it. Um, feel good okay so feel good that you've drawn these two cards if you're single if you're on your own perhaps you know uh, this is showing to you that yes you may meet someone new or that you are being saved for that person okay because I understand that it is hard for people to go out and about and to meet someone at the moment if you're in a situation where you're stuck and you can't travel or you can't go anywhere or etc etc and you think how will I meet someone well don't worry the divine's got all of that covered and they are looking after your person okay so that is what's coming through with these two cards here in terms of answering the question what do you give your power to I'd say it could be the material world so why do I say that I'm saying that because of these two cards here devil upside down is not a bad card the, the devil is a card that does take some skill to read all right it is capricorn uh, it's a very good card some people freak out by the imagery but there's nothing to freak out about here it's a great card when it's upside down one of the things it's indicating is that you're going to experience some release uh, or some freedom from something okay maybe there's been something that you've been tied to materially or some situation perhaps I'm not sure I'm getting a vibe that it's something material 
And yeah, in answer to this question, did I just answer the question, what do you give your power to? I'd say material things, the material world. So when we're talking about release, one of the things that first popped into my mind was that perhaps you're going to find it very easy to overcome an addiction, okay, in the coming weeks. So let's say there's something that you want to change, but you find it really hard to change. And I'll give you an example. From my world, I found it really difficult to get off coffee. I love drinking coffee. <laughs> Not anymore, of course. I have gotten over it. Um, but that was a really tough thing for me to give up. And there could be some form of addiction, something that you're tied to in the material world that you know you need to give up, but it's challenging, it's hard. This card upside down is showing that, so not only is there this wave of love and beauty and healing energy and goodness coming through to you, but there will be a period where it's going to be easy for you to get off some kind of addiction, okay? So if there's some kind of addiction that you're having trouble with, um, know that there's going to be a lot of divine support to help you get off it, get over it. If you work with the divine, you will be able to change that thing. You know, maybe there's some habit or something that you know that, gosh, if I could just change that, my life would be better. Um, so know that, you know, and it could be internet addiction, it could be phone addiction, it could be, it could be all kinds of things, right? Sometimes, you know, we know we we should just turn off our phone and do our work or something but we find it really hard and we get distracted by messages and all that kind of thing so yeah in this spread i must say there's it's very good <laughs> like you, group one you've picked the best group i think it's it's showing me that you're quite balanced you you um and if you're not feeling that way know that there's a lot of tremendous good wanting to flow into your life right now it's, it's really wanting to come in and we've got this two of diamonds here, which is showing that you may be juggling resources, you may be awaiting results on something. Uh, so, but this card and this card was showing me that there's some dependence on the material world. Okay, um, that, that could be what's going on there. Now, let's take a look at this beautiful card here. We've got Elgarth, it says hostility and enmity. Do not allow your ego to blind your soul, I think that says. Is that right? Yep. Offer benevolence to those who despise you. Okay, so I'm just going to read out the message in this card so that you've got the guidance straight from the book. So it says, how can one have everything but feel lost at the same time? You see, and that's also this spread is showing that you've kind of got everything right? It's all very, very good. This is like one of the best spreads I've ever done, I think. So this is always, this deck always brings the perfect thing that ties everything up. I'm always amazed by it. Um, how can one have everything but feel lost at the same time? The problem lies in our focus during periods of good luck. We do not focus on the negative side of things. We miss to see what creates discomfort because we are scared of ruining our happiness. As you probably have gathered already from reading this guide, the natural cycles of the universe teach us about the process of unity. In order to become whole, we need to understand loss and separation. When we are blinded by the desires of our ego, we project our negativity and insecurities onto others. So that is the guidance from this card here. But my general overview, overall feeling is that if there's something you give your power away to, it's likely to be the material world. Could be something as simple as a coffee addiction. Could be that, you know, I don't know, <laughs> I watch these, um, these women who they'll drop like 10 grand on the handbag and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> shopping addiction. I don't think anyone here has that, but I mean, do you know what I mean? People, people like what they like and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm getting the vibe from this spread that you've actually got it all under control. You're actually doing great. And if there has been problems in your emotional scene, know, in your relationship scene, know that there's either brilliant, beautiful healing coming in, a new wave of love is coming in, um, perhaps things are going to be washed clean in that area and you're going to... It's just good 
good, good, good vibes coming in these next, I would say, coming weeks. This is a very, very good spread. So group one, I hope that's been a good reading for you. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group two, let's take a look at your cards. Okay, so we have got five of cups upside down. So straight away, I can see you have not been having the best time, have you? We're gonna get into it, don't worry. Page of cups upside down. So if this reading is for you, stick around. If it's not, you can choose one of the other groups. Um, this is a good spread as well though, so don't worry. But if you relate to going through anything emotional that um, hasn't been good lately, then this is the group for you. Okay, so we've got 10 of swords in reverse. As I say, all is gonna come good, so don't you worry. We've got some good stuff here. We've got this for a start. We've got this jack of diamonds, fantastic. And we've got this beautiful card from Ethereal Orbs, which says Capella. It also says confidence is earned by looking at yourself without any filter, without judgment. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on here in this spread. So you've got, well, actually, before I begin, I am going to say the answer to the question, what do you give your power to? What would it be? It would definitely be your emotions as an overall overview. When something's going on in your emotional world, I do believe you give a lot of time to it and um, it becomes all consuming perhaps. Uh, it becomes maybe a big thing and that's fine. That's like so many of us. That's very natural. And we go through different phases where our emotions uh, are all consuming and are everything and what's happening in our relationship life or our love life or with our family or our close relationships that can really be all consuming. So we've got the five of cups in reverse here. This can be acceptance, moving on, finding peace. This is a good card when it's upside down, but it is indicating to me that you have definitely gone through something recently that's been quite emotional, might have been emotionally draining, it might have been a bit tough on you. Uh, the page of cups upside down is showing disappointment something hasn't gone right, okay? Um, can be showing escapism. There's lots of different things it can mean, but um, I do think something hasn't quite gone right in your emotional world. Say, for example, recently, um, maybe there've been some arguments, maybe things haven't been working out for you. Have a think, reflect, um, but you'll know it straight away, of course, <laughs> if you if you're tuned in with this reading and if you're vibing with it and connecting with it. And that's why I always say, if, if it doesn't feel right for you, jump out, go to another one, uh, or watch another video altogether, or watch another tarot reader. There are so many as well on the internet that you can tune into. Okay, so we've got this 10 of swords in reverse. Now, this is a really, really good card because it's telling me that you've been through the worst. Okay, um, it's over, right? Whatever this situation was, the disappointment, the thing, and I, I mean, this is saying as well that you're coming out of it. Both of these cards are really, really good, okay? These two are excellent in the positions that they're in because they're showing that you're okay and you, you, that you're definitely gonna be okay and that you're gonna come out of this situation stronger than before with so much more understanding. Your heart may be stretched, right? But that will enable you to take more love, okay? So this is a good thing. This is a very good thing. While this situation has been going on and perhaps you've been giving your power to this emotional thing or this emotional situation or, or the trouble that you've been going through, while all that's been going on, and yes, you've been giving your power to that, you've been giving your energy to that, you've actually been clocking up quite a bit of abundance on the other side, okay? So I do believe that, um, you know, good new material wealth, material things, opportunities for growth, that is clocking up for you massively uh, on the other side while you've been going through this difficult thing that you've been going through. So that's a good thing, right? Uh, that's good and, and through work and through effort, you'll be able to bring that which you've clocked up on the other side, you'll be able to bring that here to earth. So this is good. Now what's happening with this card? I'm gonna read out 
the description for this card. It says here, Capella, the fixed star Capella is found in the constellation of Gemini, and it is the sixth largest star in the sky in the cluster of Auriga. Ptolemy said that the energy of Capella shares the essence of Mars and Mercury. The legend said that the constellation of Auriga was considered to be one of the most fortunate constellations in the sky, and that the power of this fixed star will offer self-confidence, happiness, guidance, and unity to those who are willing to honor themselves for what they were and currently are. Yeah. And that's this really holds the key because the recovery of this situation just involves you coming back to yourself. Okay, you've just got to keep coming back to yourself. You've got to keep coming back to your emotions and recognizing if you've had some emotions, if you've had some upset or hatred or anger or any of that, right, in recent times, know that the person out there who you believe has caused it, that person could be interchangeable. The fact of the matter is that the emotion is within you, right? Now, this is something I talked about a lot in the December Outlook because we're going to have Ardra Nakshatra full moon on the 30th of December. And I think that's going to be a time where there's going to be some emotional storms. And you, you're skilled now, you're equipped, you're practiced at this, you'll be great during that time. So don't worry, there's nothing bad coming on the horizon. But definitely this situation, whatever you've gone through, you'll be able to hopefully really see that, God, that emotion is mine, that anger is mine. You know, um, you should be able to see that it's not necessarily the outside situation that caused it. It's, and in, if anything, it's a gift. It's showing you what's still in you, right? Uh, so yeah, this stuff can be tricky. It's not easy, but we do have to own our own emotions, become responsible for our own emotions. And now is a great time to be doing that kind of work. The veil is still a little bit thin right now. Um, and, you know, because generally October, November, December, these months, it does become a little bit thin. So it's a great time to really clear the emotional body, to become less focused on it, bring our focus back, say, for example, to our work, to our abundance, to our creativity, to our skills, to what we need to do. That is going to help you. Okay. Um, so I really hope this has been a good reading, group number two. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. I wish you all the best and take care. I'll see you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, this is your reading. Let's take a look at the cards. So we've got the seven of cups in reverse. We've got the eight of cups in reverse and we've got the nine of cups how beautiful upright got the eight of pentacles or diamonds i should say <laughs> either way you can read it either way and we've got Antares, which I believe is a fixed star. We're going to talk about that in a moment. But briefly, what's the answer to the question here? We've got the question, what do you give your power to? And I would say it's situations in the external world. I think situations in the external world have had you feeling quite emotional lately. We look at these two cards here what are these situations now I'm not 100% sure it, I'm not getting the vibe that it's um, I think it's tremendous uncertainty actually I think it's kind of anxiety worry uh, you know what am I going to do how is life going to be what is going on I don't, I don't think I don't I know what I'm not going to pin it to Say, for example, what's happening in the world politically or any of that. It could be some of that. Maybe you're harboring some of the tension of other people. Um, maybe you're taking on some anxiety from others 
around you. It doesn't have to be people that you know. It could be people in the collective. There could be some of that here. I feel like it is a bit more personal. It is a bit more closer to home. You're a bit different to group one. In group one, I said that they gave their power away to, oh, not group one, I think it was group two, wasn't it? Who gave their, yeah, it was group two giving their power away to emotions. Now here we've got all cups, okay? So there is something going on in the emotional body, but I kind of feel like it could be your emotions around external situations. And what it's doing, what is happening there with that is it's bringing up fear, right? There's quite a bit of fear energy. It's kind of worried there's anxiety. Let me see your notes again. Yeah, seven of cups reversed. Lack of purpose or confusion, okay? Uh, when it's upright, it's kind of there's an excitement about all the opportunities and you don't know which one to pick. When it's upside down, it's a little bit more about, oh gosh, like you're feeling down about the fact that there are all these possibilities, right? It's not bringing you much joy that there's um, so many different possibilities before you. So I do see that. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, there is a bit of a fear of change. And I've had this card over the course of my life numerous times. I've had this many, many times come up in the upright position. What's this about when it's in its upright position? It's sometimes very much about moving on from a stage of your life, moving on from a time, an era. You know, this can be the it's time to grow up card. I, I see it that way. Uh, or that you've got to walk away. You've got to, you know, and, and you could be the black sheep of the family or something and you have to go away. You know, it can have all these kind of connotations. When it's upside down, there's some change that you need to do in your life that you're resisting that you're not doing so there's something there's something that you need to walk away from or an era or a time of your life or a way of being that would be good for you to walk away from but for one reason or another you're not doing that and for one reason or another what is the reason it's fear okay that is the here on the table it's being shown it is fear now, there's wonderful news here on the table for you, and that's these two. I'm going to put these three together because these, I believe, go together. Let's take a look at what is the guidance in this card. I'm just going to read it out because it's very specific, the info in this deck, uh, and it does take me a while to learn these decks. So, Antares takes us to the depths of our human existence. Being influenced by Mars and Jupiter, it reminds us that in order to understand and overcome the limitations presented by our ego and physical body, in brackets Mars, one has to find peace within, in brackets Jupiter, to dissolve the boundaries. This fixed star is a reminder for us to learn how to be comfortable with our own company and to find acceptance for every aspect of our existence. So that's really interesting. It's asking us to be happy with our own company, right? And that's why I group these three together, that this is the kind of soul work that you're being asked to do, right? To feel good being in your own company. And I think, do you know, that, that will alleviate all these fears and worries that are being represented by these two. And you're going to do it, right? There's a lot of um, divine and angelic support here for you. The gods and goddesses, you know, every, everything is around you, cheering you on and, and wanting you to, to shed some old fear, right? It's got to go. It's, it's got to change. And, and you will make the transition to that new era of life or that new person that you are meant to be. Look at this. It's here for you now, right? So that new you that you really want to be, that confident, happy, new you is very much here. This is one of the best cards to get in a reading ever. Nine of Cups upright. Total abundance, happiness, self-contentment. You, you, you know, you can do it. You can do anything. You, when, when you've got this card, you can really do anything, achieve anything. Um, you feel wonderful. You feel just so happy, right? This is one of the best cards to get. And I'm coupling it here with this Eight of Diamonds, which is the Eight of Pentacles as well. 
And in terms of guidance for what's going on here, yes, I was thinking about this, focus and practice. What you really need to be doing is focusing and practice your skill, your craft, what it is that you do, what it is that you're really good at. That, if you master it, if you get better at it, if you polish it, it's about focusing on it, it's about doing it, right? That will bring in the abundance, okay? That is definitely coming in. But you, if you're getting caught up in your emotions and you're giving your power away to your emotional body or your emotional side, that's just going to keep you stuck here. You don't want to be stuck here. You want to be bringing this abundance in. You want to be practicing your craft, getting better at it a little bit each day. There is a slight Saturnian feel uh, to this reading, which is really quite interesting. It's because of this card here. Um, this always had a little bit of a Saturnian thing with it. I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> and um, I have a lot of experience with this card. <laughs> I know it extremely well. And... And this one as well. I have drawn this a lot in my lifetime. Um, I do know this one as well. I know both of these and sometimes there can be fear of change, fear of becoming that successful you. You know what I mean? Like it, you, it's like you feel you're not quite ready or um, and the ego will come up with excuses, etc. But don't keep losing your power to any form of emotional past. Okay, and this is the past. There is, this is definitely past. Okay, this is past. Like, yeah, it could be childhood stuff as well. Uh, this could be representative of sort of long-term old past stuff. And it's like, you want to not put, keep your focus here. You want to bring your focus onto that thing you do. And there is a doing energy here. We've also got the red color here, which is Mars. Um, the red color is, is indicating that you're going to need to do. Do. Do a bit each day towards your goals. Bring that happiness and abundance. Bring that successful new you in because it's here. It's here for you. And yeah, I hope this has been a good reading. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments below how you get on. If you know any of these messages have resonated, please do let me know. And... I look forward to seeing you next time.